the reality, I've just literally changed my jumper, but I've been in my clothes for the whole night. He's come back from Paris. Got <laughs> <laughs> turkey and getting food, and I'm starving. I've been sick for over a week now. It's not funny. <laughs> So <clears throat> Jambrick came over this morning because she wasn't feeling that well and obviously living out of college, she has nowhere to go. So she came here, we had tea, had a little talk. Then I went to the library, did some reading, also did some reading in my room. Now I've come back and I'm gonna go to the board with Anthony because I need to get a book from the Gladstone Link. And I have been to the Gladstone Link before, but it was when I was 17 and I haven't been back since and I don't really know how to actually find books. Like I know I've been there to work before, but I haven't actually been there to find a book. And I'm not really sure how to do it. So he's gonna help me find this book. <laughs> I'm gonna do the reading and then I've gotta come back for the JCL meeting this afternoon. will present an overview of the most recent developments from Greece. Something special, and no two places just alike. Greece in summer. I'm with Rob. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> so I'm with Rob. What are we doing, Rob? Explain we are going to do a 360 degree camera, and then we're going to print you in South Korea, and you're going to be in a tiny stadium. going to be the tiny stadium, stadium for, for the, the Winter, Winter Olympics. Olympics. Very exciting. Yeah. We're gonna go to the shop to get ice cream, oh, the brownies. I want special brownies. I want special brownies. <laughs> after years of after how brownies. many years? Yeah. <laughs> Love the chocolate on top because it's nice and neat and flat. cup of tea and I'm in the media centre <clears throat> but I'm also in the uh, working media centre area where you can do work and you have to have a media pass to enter. And, uh, the, the event has started already but I just need to get my work done for this afternoon's class and then I'm going to go check out Europe because I obviously didn't get to go see it yesterday and then I've got to rush off and get my train. JC are setting up for our moonlight screening and the TV is not working. <laughs>
we just had the Moonlight screening, which was really, really good. I was really, I'm really happy that I finally seen the film now. And we ordered a lot of pizza, not that I had any. I just had some of the dough balls and garlic bread and the chicken strips. <laughs> I've eaten so unhealthily over the past few days, especially at the travel market, because they had so much food available everywhere. And I'm gonna go and check. I wanna go and check my pitch, but then I have a feeling that I'm gonna get there and there's gonna be nothing and I'm just gonna be disappointed and it's quite a walk to go and check, but I'm gonna go and do that. And then <coughs> continue my reading and then prepare for my class in the morning. I have a cookie pitch to me from Jam Free. It doesn't say her name, but it says thank you for the paracetamol, and I know that I gave her paracetamol on the weekend. <coughs> and then I also have a letter from my mum, so that's really nice. <laughs> As you guys know, I have a really bad cold and it ended up keeping me up quite late into the night. I didn't get a really good amount of sleep and when I woke up I just felt really, really bad. I didn't make it to my 8am shift on the Target Schools Committee signing people in. I didn't make it to my 9am class because I just really needed the sleep and I felt really awful. So this morning when I got up I started doing a bit of chores, I had breakfast, I've done some reading and now I'm going to go and do my laundry before I need to go and catch my train to London. With Priya, uh, we're going to the Vision Express event. Hello. <laughs> the current trends at the moment and kind of going into next year as well. So we've got um, your classic kind of brown that's quite popular at the moment. Um, a lot of men and women are kind of wearing yeah. that style. Um, we've got tortoise shell but kind of with a little bit of colour. We're at the event and we're choosing and trying glasses. You suit Priya a lot more than they suit me. Oh my god. <laughs> like, yeah. So I'm with Priya and we're at the Vision Express event, which is in some glasses. <laughs> so um, they did my makeup at the event, as you can probably tell now that I look makeup up. So I showed like a smoky eye to see what it would look like with the glasses that I chose on. I was kind of being annoying because she was putting like this face makeup on my um, on my face and I didn't like it so I told her to take it off but now I'm at a Lebanese restaurant with Priya. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Yala Yala. Yala Yala. So home. So home. And we're gonna also just unbox uh, the little gift box that I've been given. So I got two free eye tests. I'm gonna give one to Priya because she hasn't had one in ages. I'm blind. She's blind. We also got a Ted Baker um, tote bag. And then some other small little bits and bobs in here. Oh, so good. Finally got our food. So hungry. So all of the trains have been delayed today. And I've got about 15 minutes to my 7 or 12 minutes. And I'm just speed walking. So I make it on time. I have to get straight there with all my stuff, but oh well. <laughs> As you can see, I'm now in my dressing gown and in my pyjamas because it's half 11 or 20 past 11. I've just made myself a cup of ginger and lemon tea and I've added in some honey from the white, from um, the Slovenia stand that I went to at the World Travel Market. So the honey's supposed to be really good, so. <coughs> <coughs> Hopefully Addy did the tea well with my cold. <coughs> I've been sick for over a week now. It's not funny. It's really not funny. Actually, it's actually got worse, significantly worse. Matthew was just taking the piss out of me the other day when I stayed with him saying, yeah, you sound like you're dying. So that's not good. I don't know whether I'm gonna include the Instagram snaps that I just did because I don't really know in vlogs whether you guys like it when I insert Instagram or Snapchat stuff because I know it's um, portrait. <coughs> it's portrait and not landscape. So it kind of makes the vlog a bit disjointed. So if there weren't any Instagram clips in there, I'll do like a little summary now. <coughs> I'm so sorry guys, but basically essentially you guys know that I don't ever wear makeup really maybe just mascara But obviously I'm definitely wearing a whole face of makeup right now I was saying in my Instagram story that it's probably more makeup than I'd wear to like a ball or anything because I really detest face makeup um, also mainly because I just don't even know how to use it but I really hate it on my skin, the feeling on my skin but the Vision Express event they wanted to show us how you can wear makeup with glasses and how they can make your eyes pop so they kind of focused on my face. <clears throat> if you can see, they did. It's really awkward with the, with the selfie angle, but basically, if you can see that they did a smoky eye look on my face, which I really actually like. <clears throat> it looks really nice. Um, and then they also, because they wanted to take photos and do shooting and films, filming. Um, they also, she also put this. Um, she was going to put this stuff on my face. I don't think it even looked like foundation because it wasn't liquid. It was like it looked 
quite stodgy and like thick and stuff and she started putting it on my face and I really didn't like it so I just said I don't like it and so she, <laughs> she had to take it all off and she put this other stuff on my face so I do have some kind of I don't even know what it is guys like my extent of makeup knowledge is pretty appalling given how old I am but yeah and then she put like some blush on then she put like some concealer on and she put I don't know my face just feels like I've got a lot of makeup on it and I just don't like makeup obviously it looked good to the pictures and whatever and I'm, that's fine but yeah on a day-to-day -day basis you guys know that I don't wear makeup I just don't like it I think it is a bit too too much for me personally I don't like this much although I do need to learn how to use some kind of makeup at least like for eyes and stuff like I, I can never do this myself because I don't have the tools to do it or know how to do it but I think that's the extent that I'd, I want to learn how to do is just eye makeup I don't really like full face or anything so yeah that's just an update and I'm gonna start my essay now and then I'm gonna go to bed because I need to sleep off this cold as well I ended up sleeping in at two hours past my alarm which I didn't want to do but I did sleep at the recorder to three so it was kind of needed I guess and also my cold is a bit better so hopefully that's because I had a bit more sleep went to my lecture and then I just had my 10 minute massage which was amazing and really really needed. Now I'm actually going to eat some food and start my essay and do some language work. So I did want to get my essay done by the morning but I don't think that's going to happen but my notes are very very detailed so I think I kind of know basically what I'm going to write. And given that I've been away for the past two and a half days, I'm in a good place when it comes to the essay. Um. I can't even remember what. Jack came around for a chat but it ended up being a lot longer than we were, <laughs> than I was expecting at least. But that's fine, I guess. So I haven't started my essay yet and it's 2.20 and I ideally wanted my essay, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I wanted my essay to be done today so I could focus on Latin work but clearly that is not happening. I'm gonna start my essay if I can get 600 words written by three o'clock then I'm gonna go to JCRT and treat myself and have a snack and then come back do some Latin work for maybe one or two hours, then do more of the essay. And I just basically, it's just gonna be late night, so I'm going to a play today, then I'm gonna go, go and have pizza for dinner. Um, I'm just assuming it's gonna be a very, very late night um, to get this essay done, but it'll be fine. So I went I to the JCRT and I went 15 minutes late because I was doing some reading of my essay notes, and then I went and there was just nothing there because everyone had gone at three o'clock, pounced on all the food, and then just gone. So there was no food left, apart from a cup of crackers. Back now, we're starting the essay, but I was really tired, so I had a nap, and I just fell asleep, like, right here. Um, and it's now been another half an hour or something, so... <laughs> I still haven't started the essay, and it's, like, half past four. I'm gonna go and check my page, because I know that the projector I've ordered has arrived today. I just need to return a library book. Then I'm just gonna bang out the essay, I'm just gonna start writing it. Like, I'm not really entirely sure where to begin, because there are lots of different things I can write about. <laughs> <laughs> Stop judging. Yes, please. So I just got back from seeing the play. It was so <coughs> guys, let's go. It was so 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 good. Probably one of the best plays I've seen in Oxford so far. So funny. Really, really, really good. And then we went to have pizza. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um Went to have pizza, finally went to Franco Manca. It was so good, the pizza was so good. I ate it really fast because I was so hungry. Now I've got a bit of a stomach ache, but whatever. And I'm finally, it's now 10, 50, 51, and I'm finally actually gonna get around to start writing this essay, which is due tomorrow morning. And Truth is coming around at some point so we can probably catch up, because I haven't seen her probably for about three days, four days. Yeah, it's been a long time, so much need to catch up. So she's coming around. And yeah, I'm just gonna be working into the night, I think. <laughs> This is the reality of my life. I literally, um, I'm not, I'm filming now because I just want to show you that this is <laughs> what sometimes happens with me. I have not even like looked in the mirror. I have not like, this is literally what I look like when I woke up, when I, I woke up from my nap at 5.30. Well, not even nap, like I just fell asleep from 2.30 to 5.30. Had only written about a thousand words. I'm now on, so I then just started writing more from 5.30, then had a nap again at eight for 10 minutes. It's now 12 to nine. I have a class at nine, guys. This is the reality. I've just literally changed my jumper, but I've been in my clothes for the whole night. I've now written 2,300 words. I know exactly what I'm gonna write, but I have a class at nine to 10, then a lecture at 10 to 11, then 11 to 12 I have free, and then my tutes at 12. So this is the reality. I have slept for about three hours all night. Like my hair is literally like this. I've just, because I was in London for two and a half days this week, like it just obviously messed up my whole like work schedule. Not that I like, regret it or anything, but this is the reality. And I thought I'd film it because obviously I want to show you guys what the reality is like. And sometimes like last year I avoided kind of doing that. So I just want to show you that 
this is what happens when you come to Oxford and you try and do too much stuff. I need to eat my breakfast quickly and then leave for my class. I know some of them are definitely like, one or two of them have been kind of, I'll write you and I'm going to write. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> Guess he's back from Paris. C'est moi. That's what he wanted to say. But you can stop it, stop it now. <laughs> It's almost 4pm, I don't actually know where the day's gone, I ended up sleeping in really late because I, so after the movie night yesterday, I didn't get to sleep until 1.30 or something, and obviously I'd been, I, I had only slept two hours the night before, so I didn't set an alarm and I woke up at about... 12, 30, 1 or something like that and then I've just, I think by the time I actually got out of bed it was about 1.30 or 2, <laughs> no probably 1.30 and then I just did some chores like washed my hair and cleaned up my room and sorted out, did lots of admin tasks like replying to emails and like planning out what I need to do for this week and what I need to do now and just kind of doing my expenses, doing like yeah, lots of boring chore stuff that needs to be done and order, like, lots, making lots of orders for stuff that I needed to buy but I haven't bought yet and now I'm finally getting around to doing some work I'm doing my Latin Unseen and then what else do I need to do? basically I just need to do so much this weekend mm -hmm. and obviously it's already <laughs> Saturday, half the day's already gone and tomorrow's quite busy but <sighs> I'm trying to get on with it and vlog as much as possible but obviously people need to remember that I don't vlog every single thing because I've never always I either forget to vlog or I just don't think that it's a time that I should vlog or I just, yeah. So, I'll try my best to show you guys what life is like. And I think I did do that well this week by showing you um, my essay situation. <laughs> so I'm having dinner with Odysseus today while he's getting a whole dinner and I'm going, ooh, I'm quickly going to uh, Wasabi to get a katsu curry because I mean, haven't really eaten anything all day um, and I'm really hungry. So I'm going to go out and get that now and then go and have dinner with him in the bar. <laughs>